And now, the news. E-H-T-Z. Hello and welcome. We are broadcasting live from Highview School. I'm Ellis and this is Jack from EHTV. Today we interviewed Kim White, who was born in Canada. Kim worked as an archaeologist, but now she works in the arts and is the director of Take Apart. This is what brought her to Efford. Just before Kim arrived, the Heart of Efford Community Partnership formed. They came up with a master plan that which involved working with artists. They asked old and young people across the community. Kim told us about a project with a artist called Anna Hart. Kim was heard lots of stories about effort from the local people. One of the stories is Jack Sorrell organising the community to go on a child bank to the seaside. EHTV, 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 EHTV. Hello, this is EHTV and we are Hannah and Charlene. This week we interviewed Mrs Dorian Kemp, the head teacher from Highview School. She said the first time she worked in Efford, she could see an old burnt down pub through her window. Mrs Dorian Kemp was promised that the pub would be knocked down, but every day it was still there. Then, one day she drove up the road and the sign was still there, but the pub was gone. From that day on, she saw the sign as a symbol of changes to come. Mrs Dorian Kemp thought that the school looked very dull, so over a weekend her and her husband decided to paint the top part of the school pink. One day, when Mrs Dorian Kemp came into school, she saw someone had done graffiti over the pink paint. She wrote in the paper that whoever had done this graffiti could come to the school to meet her because she liked it. Then that person did some artwork in the school and they changed vandalism into something that captured the spirit of the community. She also talked about the many changes in effort over the years. The school has also changed and is now one of the best in Plymouth and even the country. EHTV Hello, this is EHTV. I'm Martin and this is Kayla. And today we interviewed Leslie from Community Time Bank. Leslie worked in a news agent at Tollage Way. Leslie worked in a factory, caravan and drove a school bus for 10 years. When Leslie lived in Holmes Avenue, there was no heating. Also, the only heating they had was the fireplace. Leslie we used to go to Charaban trip to the seaside. Leslie said the Royal Marine pub was an oblong. Leslie was told lots of stories about Jack Sorrow. Jack Sorrow was a wealth man. Jack Sorrow was the man of the people. He understood what the effort man wanted. He also ran a football team that always won. H to the history, T to the 10, V to the view, yeah! Hello, this is EHTV and I am Morgan and this is Tyler. Today we interviewed Mrs Hancock who is IT server and technician. Mrs Hancock has lived and worked in Plymouth for 51 years. She told us that Efford is one of the highest points in Plymouth. She said that Efford has the best community spirit but hasn't always been like that. The community has worked hard together for 10 years to improve the library, school, church and park. 
Mrs. Hancock said that when they started to process was very slow but got better. She is very proud to live in Plymouth. E E H H T T V V Hello, this is E H T V. We are Kayla and Hannah. Today we interviewed Mr. Bridgewater. We were able to learn about him and the community. Did you know a Roman road runs through Efford? The Romans must have came here for a holiday. The shops on Torridge Way have changed. They used to have a butcher's, greengrocer's and a post office. Tragically, he said a bunch of teenagers would burn down the pub on bonfire night. EHTV, 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 EHTV. Hello, this is EHTV and we are Morgan and Jack. Today we interviewed Brian Vincent and he told us he was once a Lord Mayor, a carpenter and then soon became a bus driver. He was an effort boy and he was born in Dartmeet Avenue. Brian told us about an open air school for the poorly. It is where people who had chest and breathing problems could go to do their learning and get better. This was the very first school in Efford. Thank you for watching EHTV. Look forward to seeing you next time with the EHTV family. Bye!